Hey everyone, it's Alex at Laser Everything, and today we're going over my list for the top 10 lasers you can get right now in 2025. Don't go anywhere because we're getting started right now. Welcome to the channel guys. I'm Alex, an expert in the field with over a decade of experience with this tech. And today I'm going to share with you my top 10 picks for what laser you should be buying in 2025. While we do have affiliate links down in the description that help support the channel, the contents of this list are based solely on my opinions and my opinions alone. We'll cover a range of laser wavelengths and classes in this video, so if you're looking for something specific, check out the timestamps below. And while you're down there, hit that like button if you find this video helpful and subscribe for more videos just like this one right here. Let's get right into it. Number 10, Cloudray EC30 Light Marker Pro. If you're looking for a compact CO2 Galva laser for high speed engraving on organic materials, this is it. The EC30 Light Marker Pro is a powerhouse in a small package, giving you that high speed Galva performance without a massive footprint. It's a solid entry for production minded shops and hobbyists who want CO2 power without going full gantry. CO2 Galvo gets the job done fast, especially for wood, leather, acrylic, and rubber stamps. Number nine, Offero Laser One. This was one of my very first diode lasers and I still keep mine around today. The Alfero Laser 1 is about as budget friendly as it gets while still being incredibly capable. It's perfect for newcomers. And even after years in the game, I still use it for quick jobs and small engravings. It's light, easy to move, and doesn't break the bank. A fantastic intro into the world of laser cutting and engraving. Number 8. Raleigh Lasermatic Mark II. The Raleigh Mark II made waves in 2024, and it's still killing it in 2025. With a rock-solid frame, dependable electronics, and wide material support, this is one of the most consistent machines you can buy right now. It has excellent safety features, clean cable management, and a user-friendly design that's just satisfying to work with. If you're serious about diode lasers, this is a step above most budget models, and it's built to last. Number seven, Ohm Tech 60 watt 28 by 20. This was my first serious CO2 laser and though I don't use it much these days, she's the reason my engraving business and this YouTube channel exist. The Ohm Tech 60 watt 28 by 20 is extremely versatile with pass through and a stellar vertical height limit you just don't see a lot even on much more expensive models. It's also one of the most friendly for DIYers and people who are into right to repair. It's made almost entirely from off-the-shelf parts, meaning you're never stuck buying proprietary replacement bits if something goes wrong. You're getting a massive 28 by 20 bed, dependable 60 watt tube, and a machine that can keep up with small shop production. It's affordable, upgradable, and endlessly tweakable. If you're looking to step into the world of CO2 gantry lasers, this is the best bang for your buck by far. Number six. Com Marker B4. A fiber laser for under $3,000 that doesn't suck? That's the Com Marker B4. This machine is the gateway drug into metal marking. Whether you're doing tumblers, jewelry, or photos on metals, the B4 delivers insane value. It's quick, portable, and beginner friendly with light burn support baked in. Its 20 watt source can feel a bit underpowered to seasoned pros and people who need large work areas, but if you've been wanting a fiber and don't want to spend five grand, this is your move. Number five, Ortur Laser Master 3. This is the diode I recommend to 90% of new users. I personally own this one, and it's one of the most polished diode platforms out there. The Ortur LM3 nails the balance of power, safety, and ease of use. It's fast, reliable, and perfect for beginners and intermediate users alike. They've improved every part of the design with this generation, and it shows. The industry is shifting away from class four lasers lately, and while I understand the safety aspect of that, I love the open design of slightly older machines like this. 
It's easier to maintain and clean and gives you way more options in terms of substrate placement and configuration. Definitely deserves a spot on my top 10 list without a doubt. Number four, SFX 60 watt JPT M7. This is one of my current workhorse fibers. The SFX M7 is stupidly powerful. With the JPT M7 source, you get variable pulse width control, deep engraving capabilities, and serious throughput. It's just a beast. I've done everything from stainless steel black to deep cut logos in aluminum, and the results are flawless every time. It's the best value for mid-tier fiber laser on the market and one of the best performing machines I own. Number three, Eon Mira Pro S Redline. I own the last gen Mira 9 Pro and it still outperforms most modern machines. The new Redline S series, even better. This is a luxury class CO2 laser that earns every bit of its price tag. You're getting lightning fast engraving speeds, beautiful airflow design, a water chiller, and smart controls all in one sleek package. If you're a small business owner looking to upgrade to a serious production-ready CO2 system, this is the one. Number two, the original X-Tool F1. I've had the F1 since launch and it's still my favorite portable laser engraver. The dual diode IR setup is genius. You can switch between stainless steel and wood or acrylic in a snap. And the results are sharp, clean, and surprisingly quick. It's nowhere near the cost of the newer F1 Ultra. It's compact, crazy easy to use, and the ideal choice for vendors, craft fair sellers, or anyone who needs to take their laser on the road. I can't overstate how cool this machine is and how much fun I've had experimenting with it since we added it to the collection. Number one, Com Marker Omni One. The Omni One earns the top spot, not because it tries to be everything, but because it does one very hard thing extremely well, marking at 355 nanometer. If you need to mark or engrave on glass, plastic, acrylic, PCBs, or nearly any other material, this is the machine you want. Its ultra-fine spot allows for incredibly detailed work, especially on materials that other wavelengths would burn, melt, or fail to touch altogether. Think tiny QR codes, medical grade part marking, and ultra-precise etching. That's the kind of work this laser was built for. It's not a general purpose tool. It is a precision scalpel. The Omni One delivers in ways no diode, CO2, or fiber laser can match. That's my top 10 list for 2025, and whether you're just starting out or scaling up your laser business, there's something here for everyone. From entry-level diode engravers to precision-grade UV systems, these machines have all earned their place through performance, reliability, and value. I personally use many of the lasers on this list, and I wouldn't recommend anything I don't believe in. If you saw something that fits your needs, check out the links down in the description. They help support the channel and keep content like this coming. If you found this helpful, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the bell so you don't miss what's next. We've got big things coming all the time. Let me know in the comments which laser you're using right now or what you're planning to pick up next. I always read through your feedback and your input helps shape future content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.